This play along won't suit everybody. It's an idea I had for playing long notes and you can play along with me playing long notes. I'm going to offer some different things for you to think about as you play the long notes, but essentially this is just five minutes of play along and to practice one note. So off we go. <laughs>
Okay, so that was thrilling, uh, but actually the, um, the exercise is really useful. In fact, that five minutes went really quickly, I thought, and um, there's lots of things I was being aware of as I was playing, um, but in the middle I kind of started to really kind of get into it, um, and that's what I'd encourage you to do. So start with playing along with this, um, and then just incorporate that into your practice schedule. Everyone always talks about long tones. It's a really, really good thing to do to warm up your instrument, but warm up the mind. It's kind of like a sort of a meditation before you start practicing. So I always do it, and when I finish it, I feel really focused. I feel really aware of what's going on. I feel quite connected to the instrument. And also I have a really good plan of what I'm going to do. It actually, it feels like I've achieved something even just by playing one note for five minutes. Sometimes I actually play this for up to 20 minutes, um, depending on how disciplined I feel. Um, but actually after the 20 minutes is great. I sort of, I feel really, really focused and, and really up for whatever I'm going to practice that day. So try and incorporate into your practice schedule. Um, you can do this on any note. Sometimes I play up high. I notice that the uh, the intonation, the sort of tuning, and the uh, the, the quality can be um, much less forgiving up there. So that's something you can practice, and that's something I do from time to time: is to just play up really high and do the same sort of things. You know, think of stability, think of intonation, uh, control, uh, breathing, all of those. Kind of cues that are going through my mind I think of them up there as well it's just much harder uh, the other thing I tend to do um, is doing overtones and one in particular so just like the first overtone so if you're playing low C and then overblow it so that you get the first tone overtone rather that's quite a nice um, it's a nice long tone to do it kind of you can explore a little bit and it kind of I find it opens up your throat quite nicely and um, it's just a nice note to blow through so anyway not hugely exciting I'm afraid but a really good thing everyone knows that they should be doing long tones something that I do all the time so I thought I'd do you a play along to perhaps motivate you to do it and um, if you like it give me a thumbs up if you don't like it give me a thumbs down that's fine uh, leave a comment if you want to and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more videos.